Well, you know, anything that's been accomplished, it's been accomplished by uh, a, a lot of people in this league working together. Uh, that's the way I've always tried to lead, and, and hopefully it's been, uh, been effective, and uh, we've had a lot of change through these 23 years, uh, from nine to, to 12 members, and, and now at 15, uh, that was critical to the, uh, to the growth, of, to, to, for that growth and uh, what it has meant to the league and will mean to the league going forward. Uh, y you know, w I, the thing I think most about are the people uh, that I've been associated with through those 23 years because in my opinion, they're the best people in intercollegiate athletics. And uh, there've been a lot of challenges. Uh, hopefully we've met those successfully by and large. Uh, I've always been very proud of what this league has stood for. Uh, with its balance of academics and athletics. I think it's the strongest conference in intercollegiate athletics in that regard. Uh, and that's because of the people at our institutions and uh, the student athletes that we attract. And uh, uh, they've done a great job of, uh, of winning and, and uh, having the balance of, of doing it and doing it successfully at really high quality uh, institutions of higher learning. And to me, that's what college athletics is, uh, is all about. But when you look at the expansions, uh, which was extremely important to this league being in the position that it's in today, uh, and the ACC network and the start of the football championship game, uh, the ACC Big Ten Basketball Challenge, uh, I mean, you know, it, it, uh, I hesitate to, to go down a list because I worry about what I might leave out. But uh, there's always challenging times, and uh, there always will be challenging times. Uh, it, and now's the right time for, uh, to me, to hand the mantle over to some, somebody else.